There was a lot of hype last year about the impact Amazon would have on the Australian retail industry. From our survey stats, only around 15% of retailers actually have an intentional online strategy around marketplaces. Uh, so most retailers are considering Amazon as possibly an adjunct to what they want to do. Interestingly enough, around 16% of retailers have no online strategy whatsoever and have no website uh, for selling online. And that's a little bit of a concern, but most of those uh, businesses are in the smaller end of town who may not have the resources or the knowledge to potentially sell uh, online. Another interesting stat is that around 85% of retailers do see value in uh, online retailing uh, and are sort of making investments in that area and around 62% of retailers are actively investing in social platforms. Uh, I think retailers are now seeing that just putting a website online and getting an online presence is not enough. Uh, it has to be very seamlessly integrated with everything that you do and has to be a consistent experience from the store right through to online on their mobile devices, you know, how you reach out to those customers and the experience that they have has to be very consistent. So many retailers have seen the phenomenon where customers will actually surf their website at the same time that they're standing in the shop and what they're doing is comparing the online experience with the real experience to see if it's consistent. Um, because what they don't want is a disconnected experience because they're building up trust in the online brand. So it's very important that retailers nail that experience from online to in-store to social uh, and that the experience is consistent the whole way through, that the pricing is similar, that the promotions work, that the customer feels engaged on both of those platforms. Some recent stats that came out from the NAB showed that overall online retailing actually took a dip in February this year. And that's interesting because it's no longer seen, I think, as the panacea to, to lift the flagging in-store sales. So if in-store sales go down, then online retailing is also potentially going to go down. And that's because um, it's, an, it's seen as an overall market picture now rather than just this channel or that channel. And I think that's the way that retailers need to think of it, is that if, you know, if, if they're shopping, if not shopping with you, there's a reason for it. It's not because your website isn't there or your online presence isn't quite good enough, it's your whole experience isn't good enough and all your product mix is wrong, all your promotions aren't right.